Hello everyone, this is Varun Tahin and welcome to my channel. So today I'm here to disclose some of the very important aspects of learning data science in a very streamlined manner. Actually, I have got a lot of questions from people who are specially new or stepping into this field, asking to guide them so that they are not lost at the end of the day in this big ocean of data science knowledge. If this is not the first video you have come across, you might have observed by now that there are a lot of aspects, especially when we talk about data science. And people tend to get lost and diverted from transitioning into this field or pursuing this field because they feel that they have to learn each and everything in deep, especially to reach a role of a data scientist. If you see this video till the very last, I can assure you that this is nothing but a complete myth. And all you need is a smart direction to reach your goal. Now guys, don't get afraid by this chart which you are seeing on the screen. This is just to streamline our process. So we will be seeing each of these components in a very basic sense. Now data science can be divided into three parts. So you can see on the right side of the screen, it is divided into analysis, engineering and machine learning. So analysis comes when we have the data in hand and we have to wrangle the data which is suitable for the machine learning algorithm. Further engineering will comprise the ways of fetching the data and wrangling with it. So analysis will have the part of visualization as well in it but engineering mostly related to the ETL tool which is extraction, transformation and loading. Then comes the machine learning which is just the application of different machine learning algorithms. Now you guys need to remember that you don't need to learn each and every component listed here. It's just that the different roles in data science requires different components expertise. So I have listed all of them. Now it is only when you look into a job description of a particular role you will be better knowing that which role suits you better or which components you already have an expertise in and you will be transitioning faster or you will have a better understanding of the prerequisites to start in those areas. So I would say that those areas will be better for you in future aspirations and to go much faster in this field in the entry point itself. Now I will call out some of the components I have listed here. So first one is mathematics. So mathematics is essential for every role when we consider data science as a field but it is more focused towards the machine learning and the analyst role than the data engineering role so if you are aiming for a data engineering role then i would say databases the understanding of databases the understanding of messaging queues like rabbit mq and kafka and streaming apps like spark are more essential than anything else now when we talk about mathematics it is a vast field but just for understanding the internals of how the algorithms behaves and how it is structured we need to learn some of the concepts of mathematics so i will be covering these concepts in my later sessions so you guys don't need to worry on those things now inside mathematics there are concepts of linear algebra and differential calculus and optimization problems that are most essential for a data scientist to know so this is about mathematics then comes statistics so the same thing applies for statistic also so it is a vast field and we don't need to understand each and every concept in it but there are some concepts of discrete and continuous uh, variables then normalization distribution and other curves as well as p values and z scores which are more essential towards interpretation of how the algorithm has performed so that we can fine tune it and get good accuracies and precision and then the major component is machine learning so machine learning can be categorized further into classification problems regression and some model validation problems problems then deep learning and then natural language processing so classification can use various algorithms like logistic regression and then decision trees okay and regression will include the linear regression and other algorithms and this deep learning and nlp will come in the ai part of data science now comes the data analysis part so this is a must do for every role basically and it will comprise of the exploratory data analysis the extraction transformation and load and the feature engineering so this is a must do component for every role as I said and it will give you an overall experience of what all hidden information is present in data via the exploratory data analysis where we will clean the data in a particular format and uh, feed it into the machine learning algorithms in the later stages. We will fetch it from various sources and load it and transform it as per our needs and then comes the feature engineering part where we will select the important features from the large data set. Then moving on visualization is one of the 
most important component in data analysis as you guys know and uh, there are several libraries like matplotlib and seaborn which is provided by python and there are other libraries or other uh, tools also available in market which are tableau and power bi which will give us a powerful uh, representation of various data in form of charts and plots so guys these all components need not be learned you can either learn tableau or power bi or learn the matplotlib with seaborn now gathering the data is the most essential part in before the data analysis part comes in so web scrapping plays an important role there so you can even fetch the data from various apis which are globally available or you can web scrap the given website by using beautiful scrap and scrappy so either you can learn this library or this library which is provided by python now comes the databases guys as you all know that sql is widely used globally so mysql and other databases like postgres or oracle can be uh, used widely and moreover there are prominent databases in the market when no sql are concerned you can either go with mongodb cassandra or graphdb and learn one of them because it will be essential when you are talking about especially the data engineering role so guys this component is mostly used and mostly required by most of the uh, companies in their job description either you need to have an understanding over linux or mac because either the system is built on linux where you are deploying your machine learning algorithm or it is your laptop so it best performs on these two systems and then you need to have an understanding over repo so either github or gitlab will do so repos are basically used for managing your code and pushing it to a remote location so that it can be better version managed now guys when you have already developed your machine learning algorithm or you have developed some application you need to deploy it somewhere so deployment comes into picture that time and uh, there are various services provided by aws and azure so you can deploy in either aws that is amazon web service or microsoft azure and learn these and uh, you will be good to go on deployment now guys i have saved the best one for the last so you need to have a knowledge on the programming language either python r or java so i would preferably go with python or r and in that too i will go with python because python has a lot of libraries that it internally gives and that will simplify your uh, problems much better way python is mostly used by data scientists these days and is used on most of the complex uh, computations that r or java does not give now did you guys observe that how we have categorized it and streamlined our process of learning based on the roles and now we have a lot less portion to cover when we are aiming for a role now i would like to point out something here that obviously when you start to learn something first it will take time and gradually when you start practicing it on daily basis it's only then when you feel a sense of accomplishment so this will obviously be a lot of information if you are not coming from a python background or if you are not coming from a technical background as such but rest assured it will be worth spending your time in uh, learning this course which i am offering on youtube without having to spend too much of time in searching and it will give you a crash understanding of everything you need to know so this is all for today guys thanks for watching this video i hope this helps and answers most of your questions on career transitions if you like my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you don't miss on the future updates on this channel and please stay safe at your home take care of your loved ones i will see you soon in the next session thank you and take care